I mean, it was a, it was a great day. I think that I wasn't really hoping for it. I hadn't had a great start to the season, and last year didn't go that well. So, but I really had a good feeling on that course. I was fast and having really having fun, and that was really the main aim that day was just to have fun and see where it brought me. And yeah, it just it was pretty amazing. From the first day, I had great feeling, was fast, we had great boards, and that really helps. It makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> and yeah, I just, I wasn't starting very good in, on the final days. Like, really, I was starting a bit behind and a bit frustrated with that. But then I was just catching up and managing to make my moves, really just let my snowboard go where it wanted and let the instinct really do the talking. I think that I don't really see about making history and all that is not really what interests me and I'm just happy to have that support from from Great Britain and from GB Snowsport that really just have supported me since I, I switched. Yeah, I switched from France to Great Britain in 2018. It was just not really working for me in the French team. Uh, the relationship in the team and and with everybody, it wasn't really what I was expecting. Uh, I had a bad hip as well. Uh, I've been suffering from, from a broken pelvis since 2011. And I was suffering from that, not being able to train properly and couldn't find any, any solutions. I was on the point of wanting to give up completely, like stop. And then I was like, well, I've always had that in the back of my mind to, to race for, for GB. My brother, one of my brothers was racing for GB before that. And I was just like, well, why not give it a try? And the support I got as soon as I, I made, well, thought about making that switch was just crazy. They brought in the coach I had with France as well, so I switched with him and that I had a very good relationship with him, so with John Chopin. That was, that was one of also the, the great things about it is that I kept that, that support and that coaching and I think that that's really helped for sure. What's really good in our, in our team is that we really work with Ski Cross. We're all the pre-season, we're together, we're training, we're pushing each other and so I'm training a lot of the time with Ollie Davis and he really pushes me and <laughs> oh, we do some, some great things together. I mean, I, I started skiing first when I moved out to France, but then I was doing both, I was skiing, snowboarding, and also I was sailing at the same time. And so I just couldn't do all three. I had to choose, and yeah, I was having more fun on the snowboard than skis, so I just, just chose snowboard cross. Sailing, I mean, yeah, it's really a passion now and I really enjoy doing it. I mean, it's, it's a gliding sport as well. It's gliding on water and it's adapting to the ele elements for sure. Snowboard cross, you need to adapt to everything that's happening and everybody, but also snow conditions that are changing. Like on a track, it, like one run can be fast and then we might get a gust of wind and it slows down. So we need to adapt every move. And I think that, yeah, sailing for sure, you. You do adapt to all the gusts coming through and all that, so yeah, it's, it's a little similar, but for sure there's a lot of differences as well. Uh, they were both racing World Cup, so we did a season uh, where we were all three on the World Cup tour. <laughs> it was a bit stressful for my parents, I think, but no, that was fun. So my older brother, Thomas, he was racing for, France, uh, for England, and then William and I was, I was racing as well for France at that point, so yeah, it was quite fun.